Hey everybody. Here comes my here comes one of my ghosts. It's gonna whip around here. This is my this is my rendition of an axe-worthy ghost setup. And uh, here comes another ghost. I've got three ghosts going around this circuit. And uh, I'll let him pass and then I'll the switch. So I figure I've got close to 400 feet or so of line paid out. Um, I am using a 250 pound test uh, eight strand braided fishing line. I got yellow so I can see it when I mow and I don't decapitate myself. Uh, <laughs> uh, the main thing here, which I think is the key, is the RPM. I'm using a 1700 and whatever RPM, uh, one third horsepower motor with the, the smallest pulley I can get to a 26 inch bike wheel. And uh, the speed seems to be just about right. Um, I saw some people post videos where they used a router, like a woodworking router speed controller. And uh, I have one and put it on, but it didn't really do much for me. Maybe it's because the motor's already such a low RPM, um, or maybe it has something to do with the design of the motor, I'm not sure. But uh, this RPM works pretty well. Um, my setup right now is kind of janky. Um, just some plywood, a little cap, keep the rain off. Literally, I have it screwed to this tree. And it's not perfect, but I just set it up and I'm testing. It took me about a couple hours to get this uh, so the, so, the, so the line would stay on the wheels. And I've just got uh, bike wheels, old bike wheels. There's one on that tree where my casket is and across the graveyard there, way down by the road, about 200 feet away. There's another bike wheel on a tree. And uh, this line seems to take a lot of tension really well. Uh, it's It says it's not supposed to stretch, but it does. So I've had to... Uh, tighten it up a couple of times and I'm sure I will some more. Let me turn this back on. It's a lot of fun. Um, I'll back away so it's not so noisy. It's uh, This 200 foot run is maybe about the max I would want to do without it. You can see him coming in. That guy gets pretty close to the ground um, in the middle there and uh, at the end, the far end, it's about seven feet up. So um, I don't know that I can put a whole lot more tension in this line, so I could add a pulley, and I might on that tree, or maybe next year I'll get a little bit crazier and make it make the circuit longer. Um, why not? So it's been a fun, really fun project, and I'm looking forward to uh, people seeing it. Had some great reactions from the neighbors and some thumbs up from people driving by and stuff. Um, it's really great. These little ghosts I picked up at a craft store locally. They were already on sale, and it's only October 11th. 50% um, off, so they were five bucks a piece. No, 10 bucks a piece. Yeah. Uh, so I've got uh, I've got $30 in ghosts, um, and they don't weigh very much, and I think that's kind of key to this. And then I've got uh, the fishing line, the spool of 1,000 yards was like another $17 on Amazon or something. Um, that's all I've got invested in this so far, other than some spray paint. But um, to go any longer, I might do some 1 16th steel cable next year. We'll see how this works. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you learned a little bit. Happy Halloween.